This is a big box of little books from Peppa Pig. Come, let's read. Huh, there's so many. Daddy Pig, Pedro Pony, Mummy Pig, Peppa Pig, Candy Cat, Zoe Zebra, Susie Sheep, George Pig, and Danny Dog. Come, let's first read Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy. Messy Daddy. Hungry Daddy. Tired Daddy. Happy Daddy. Let's read the next one. Pedro Pony, shall we? Pedro Pony. Hello, Pedro Pony. Bounce, bounce. Ski. We. Skate. Ride. Let's use the next one. Mummy pig. Mummy pig. Hello, mummy pig. Strong mummy. Clever mummy. Queen mummy. Surprise mummy. Let's read Peppa Pig now. Peppa Pig. Hello, Peppa Pig. Muddy Puddle. Swimming. Dancing. Family. Candy cat. Candy cat. Hello, candy cat. Playtime. Leapfrog. Music. Dressing up. Let's read Zoe Zebra. Hello, Zoe Zebra. Friends. Tea party. Monkey. Sleepover. Zzz. Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie Sheep. Skipping. Laughing. Holding hands. Best friends. George Pig. Hello, George. Dinosaur. Roar! Jump, jump, jump! Bubble bath. Time for bed. Danny Dog. Hello, Danny Dog. 
Bo. Climb. Merry go round. Pirate Danny. Shall we make the puzzle now? Let's flip Weasel around. Daddy Pig. Let's put him here. Pedro Pony. And Mummy Pig. Pepper Pig. And that's Grandma Pig. With George Pig. And I think that's Grandpa Pig. And yes, it is with Pepper Pig. Susie Sheep. Danny Dog. Oh, let me squeeze this in. And what a beautiful puzzle. And bye bye. That's it for now. This, this was Peppa Pig, a big box of little books. Don't forget to subscribe. And you can see our, me our lots and wonderful books. Thank you. Hello everyone. Today we are going to read JJ and Friends Box of Books from most likely your favourite video maker, Cocomelon. Another one of amazing books from Cocomelon, so don't leave us anytime soon. And of course, there will be a special puzzle that we will be making together at the end. So, watch till the end and don't leave us. Let's start reading. Let's read Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo. Hi, Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo is JJ's big sister. She loves to play at the beach. She loves drawing and painting. Time for a dance. Let's see the next one, JJ. Hi, JJ. JJ is the youngest in his family. He loves to ride his bike. He loves playing with his friends. He loves food. What's your favorite snack? Tom Tom. Hi, Tom Tom. Tom Tom is JJ and Yo-Yo's big brother. He loves to play, make people laugh. He loves to go, go on adventures. What is Tom Tom's snowman missing? Do you know? Yes, it's a carrot. Now let's read Bingo. Bingo. Hi, Bingo. Bingo is JJ and his family's dog. He loves going on hikes. He loves music. Time to play. Nico. Hi, Nico. Nico has a line on his shirt. 
He loves to play his guitar. He loves to make silly faces. Time for school. Now let's read Bella. Bella. Hi, Bella. Bella has a unicorn on her dress. She loves to garden with Miss Appleberry. Bella loves to be with her friends. Bang, bang goes the drum. Now let's read Cody. Cody. Hi, Cody. Cody is JJ's best friend. He loves to play the xylophone. Cody loves dinosaurs. Roar. He loves his cat, Pickles. Nina. Hi, Nina. Nina has yellow dungarees. She is full of energy. She loves to blow her whistle. Let's play. And last but obviously not least, Cece. Hi Cece. Cece has a cat on her top. She loves to dance. She loves to play the keyboard. What will Cece draw today? And those are all the books. And now, guess what? Because you watched to the end, we're going to make a puzzle. So let's start cracking. Wow, what an amazing puzzle we have made today. I bet you can name all the characters. I'm sure you will. Pause the video to try and name all the characters. And look, wow, what does that say? It says Appleberry, and that's Miss Appleberry's name. Wow, and look at that. A, B, C. That's it from today's video. JJ and her friends, Box of Burks, Coke Melon. I hope you will enjoy this video. Thanks for watching till the end, and don't forget to subscribe so we can explore all our amazing books together without you missing a single one. So for now, goodbye. Hello, everyone. Today is another book of a big box of little books but this time it's not your favorite peppa pig but your favorite peter rabbit i'm sure you all love these amazing books so stay tuned to the end and of course there will be a puzzle we will be making at the end of the video so don't leave us anytime soon and stay tuned let's read 
Wow, look how many wonderful books there are. There are nine different books. Can you count all nine books that you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, let's start reading. Gemma, Gemma Paduduck. Here is Gemma Paduduck. Gemma looks for somewhere to lay her eggs. She finds a cozy hut. Gemma makes a soft, snuggly nest. Gemma's eggs have hatched. What lovely little duckling. Wow, well, what a first book to start off. Let's read Peter Rabbit now. This is Peter Rabbit. Peter sneaks into Mr. McGregor's garden. Squeeze! He eats some juicy radishes. Mr. McGregor chases him. Peter runs all the way home to bed. Night, night, Peter Rabbit. Wow. Let's read the next one. Jeremy Fisher. Here is Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Jeremy is a frog. Boing, boing. This is his boat. Jeremy spends all morning fishing. Then stops to have his lunch. What a tasty sandwich. Another fabulous book. Wow. Flopsy bunnies. Here are the flopsy bunnies. There are six of them. They are looking for something to eat. And find a lot of lettuce to eat. Munch, munch, crunch. And then fall fast asleep. Sleep well, Flopsy Bunnies. That was amazing, wasn't it? Now the next one. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. This is Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle loves washing clothes. She hangs them up to dry. Drip, drip, drip. Then she irons them. And then she gives back all the clothes. Thank you, Miss Tiggy Winkle. Now the next one. Mrs. Tittlemouse. This is Mrs. Tittlemouse. She cleans her house ready for a party. Sweep, sweep, sweep. The guests arrive. First, there is dancing, and then they eat a feast. When the party is over, Mrs. Tittlemouse is very sleepy. Good night, Mrs. Tittlemouse. Wow, another nice one. 
your favorite kitten, Tom Kitten. This is Tom Kitten. Tom's mother brushes his fur. Brush, brush, brush. Then he dresses him in his best clothes. Tom and his sisters go outside to play. But all Tom's clothes fall off. Oh no, Tom Kitten. Wow, this might be your favourite character. Squirrel Nutkin. Here is Squirrel Nutkin. Nutkin and his friends go across the water. Piddle Paddle. And climb to the top of a tree. They gather nuts and eat them all for tea. What a tasty treat. And now Tom's stepbrother, brother, whatever you say, he's one of the best. Benjamin Bunny. This is Benjamin Bunny. Benjamin runs to Mr. McGregor's garden. Pitter patter. He searches for some radishes. And he munches on some lettuce. Then he collects some onions to take home. What a good little bunny. Wow, some of the most amazing nine books we've ever read so far. And because you all have watched till the end, we're going to make a puzzle. So let's dive straight into it. I'm sure this is all your favourite part, because it is my favourite part. Okay, something is definitely wrong. I think this goes here, that goes there, that looks a lot better. And I think that's the top of Peter Rabbit's dad's ear. So that is going to go there with that and where's this going to go hmm ha i see peter rabbit's body so this must go here and this must go there this here and this here wow this is a truly magnificent puzzle with a heartwarming moment with Peter Rabbit and his dear mother. So that's it from today's books. A big box of little books from Peter Rabbit. I'm sure you all have loved this amazing collection of books. And if you did, please check out our other videos. And don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe. So for now, see you next time. Hello everyone, today we are going to read Spot, a big box of little books by Eric Hill with nine amazing books that we will be exploring all together. And of course, there is a puzzle that we will be making at the end of the video. That is what the puzzle will look like. So if you enjoy it, please stay to the end so we can make a puzzle together. Shall we start? Food. Food. Bananas. Juice. Carrots. Tomatoes. 
and yogurt. Farm. Cow. Chicken. Pig. Horse. Tractor. Shall we read toys now? Toys. Blocks. Train. Drum. Car. Crayons. Now let's read family. Spot. Mum. Dad. Grandpa. Grandma. Park. Flower. Duck. Squirrel. Swing. And slide. Now shall we read friends? Friends. Spot. Tom. Helen. Steve. And Teddy. So, shall we read bedtime now? Sponge. Toothbrush. Slippers. Look, that spots face on the slippers too. Book. Cuddle. Do you do do you do these things before you go to bed? <clears throat> Party. Cake. Balloons. Present. Sandwiches and a party hat. <clears throat> now, let's read last but not least beach. Bucket and a spade. Ice cream. Sandcastle. Shells and a beach ball. Do you guys play with a beach ball at the beach? I'm sure you do. Now, as you will watch to the end, let's make the puzzle. See if that should go there. Bad spots, hey, face. Where does this go? Let's keep this here for a second. Oh, that must be the wheel, so that must go there. And then is that his hand here, maybe? And the part, oh wait, no, his hand goes here, and that goes there. And this, oh, here's that is. And let's see this, does it go, nope, his tail is there. And his foot is there. What an amazing puzzle we have made today in again one of our 
big box of little books and i'm sure you all loved this video and if you did please consider subscribing so we can explore all our amazing books together without you missing a single one so for now see you next time and thank you for watching today we are going to read in the night garden a big box of little books and yes of course there will be a puzzle that we will be making at the very end so don't leave us anytime soon and watch till the end let's start reading the pontypines the pontypines me 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 log moustache home dinner time upsy daisy upsy daisy daisy do dancing singing chasing kissing Igloo Piggle Igloo Piggle Squeak Red Blanket Bouncy Ball Best Friends Boat The Pinky Punk The Pinky Punk Punk Flying high through the trees. Punk alarm. Bump. Now let's read the hahus. The hahus. Hahu. Big. Bouncy. Hardly sleepy. Now let's read the Wattingers. The Wattingers. Jumping. Playing. Hiding. Sleeping. Now the tumblers, the tumblers, tumblerboo, 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 tumblerboo trousers, tumblerboo bricks, tumblerboo toothbrushes, and tumblerboo bush. Now. Maca Packer Maca Packer Woo Counting One Two Three Washing Drying Waving And now last but not least the Nicky Nunk the Nicky Nunk Tingling Upside Down All Aboard Lights On Speeding Off Now, as you will watch to the end, let's make the amazing puzzle. So let's start making.
Wow, what an amazing puzzle we have made today. I'm sure you all have loved this book, and if you did so, please don't forget to subscribe so you can explore all our new amazing books together. And that's it from In the Night Garden, Big Box of Little Books. See you next time. Today, again, we are going to be reading A Big Box of Little Books, but this one is from Eric Carl, The World of His Books, from The Very Hungry Caterpillar to some of your favourite books. So, and of course, there will be a puzzle at the end, so stay tuned and don't leave us now. Forest. Forest. Brown bear. Fox, woodpecker, squirrel, snake, garden, ladybird, Beetle, Caterpillar, Snail, Bee, Sky, Eagle, Butterfly, Heaven, Owl, Bat, Home, Dog, Goldfish, Mouse, Cat, Parrot, Ice, Polar Bear, Wolves, Seal, Penguin, Novel Farm Duck Pig Sheep Cow Goat Sea Dolphin Octopus Turtle Seahorse Jellyfish Jungle Monkey Elephant Leopard Zebra Lion Pond Tortoise, Frog, Sp 
bei der Dragonfly. Cricket. And that's all the books. And if you're watching until now, I'm sure you'd want to see the puzzle. So, let's make. And then that one goes there. And these two will be attached. So we must go to the door. This one must go there. This one there. That one there. This one there. This one there. And this one there. What an amazing puzzle we have made today. I'm sure you all have loved this book. And if you did... Please don't forget to subscribe and that's it from Everett Curls, a big book of little books. So, see you next time. Hello everybody, today we are going to read Hey Dougie's Little Learning Library. Shall we read? First let's read Colours. Colours. Red bus. Beep beep. Orange pumpkin, yellow banana, green dinosaur, blue water, splash, and it's got a colour plate on the back with red, yellow, white, green, blue and black. Shall we read shapes? Shapes. Square. Rolly's pe present. Circle. A football. Semicircle. An umbrella. Star. Good night, everyone. Shall we read the next one? One, two, three. One, two, three. One clubhouse. Two flamingos. Three teddies. Four crowns. Oh, I missed a page. Five squirrels. Six cupcakes. Seven carrots. Eight planets. Nine flowers and ten badges. And look, there's a one, a two, and yes, a three. Last but obviously not least, A, B, C. A, B, C. A is for alien, B is for Betty, C is for chicken. D is for Dougie, E is for elephant, F is for fog, G is for games, H is for happy, I is for ice cream, J is for jam, K is for kite, and L is for ladybug, M is for monkey, N is for nori, O is for octopus, P is for pizza, Q is for queen bee, R is for roly, S is for stick, T is for tag, U is for unicorn, V is for vegetables, W is for windmill, X is for xylophone, Y is for yoga, and Z is for zebra. I hope you all love today's book of Little Learning Library from Hey Dougie. If you enjoyed this book, please and please subscribe as we have so many more wonderful books we can explore all together. So, see you next time. Children.
Today we are going to sing and read our favorite nursery rhyme. Hey, didn't do do. With lots of sliders and push and pull slides. Hey, didn't do the cat and the fiddle. Hey, didn't do the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog loved to see such fun. Do you want to see the fun? The little dog loved to see such fun. On the dish ran away with the spoon. On the dish ran away with the spoon. He did a little, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog loved to see such fun. On the dish ran away with the spoon. The end. Hope you all enjoyed singing this beautiful rhyme with us. See you soon on another one. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us. Bye. Hi everyone. Today we are going to see the book. Hey Ducky the color badge. Yes, looks like lots of colors we are going to see today. Come on, let's get into the book. It's another day at Squirrel Club. And Ducky has something very exciting planned. What are you doing, Ducky? Asked Dad. He is painting a tree in his coloring book. Can you see? Yes. Hmm. Can we do some painting too, Ducky? Asked Nori. Hmm. See, Betty turns the page of the coloring book. I love bees. But what color should your bee be? Hmm, what color do you think? Yes. It's yellow and black, isn't it? Your bee should be yellow, says Betty. She dips a paintbrush in the yellow paint, then colors the bee and the flower yellow. Wow. My go, shouts Tag. Mm, he wants a fire engine. He dips a paintbrush in the red and colors the fire engine in red. Well done. He has done a nice coloring. Wow, happy goes next. He finds the perfect picture. Water. He wants to splash some Water. Very easy, BC. Just paint it in blue color. It will be all in blue water splash. My ghost says Rolly, turning the page. He wants to do a lizard. But he thinks all lizards are green. Hmm, maybe not, but it looks pretty. He is making a good attempt. Eh? Now it's no turn. It's an orange she wants to do. See, but we don't have any orange point. Oh. What shall we do? Any idea? Does anyone have any idea how to make orange paint? Don't worry, says Dougie. Because he has got the color batch today. Take some red, take some yellow, mix it and see you get orange. Wow, that's a brilliant idea. Can you see? Now the orange has been painted in orange color. Mm -hmm. Now Betty's turn. Grapes. Actually, grapes should be in purple. How to make purple color? 
Wow, red and blue together gives purple. I think you all are learning these color combinations. I think it will be helpful in your school too. Now the squeezes turn the page. Let's see. It's a jelly. Mm, let's make a pink jelly. But how to make a pink color? That's easy. Take some red and mix it with white. When you write, lighten the red color, it will give you pink, pink color, isn't it? Then we can paint the pink jelly. The next picture is a drink. See, Happy wants some blueberry juice. How to make a dark blue color? Mix blue and black. Then you will get a dark blue exactly like the blueberry. Hip hip, that's really lovely. What goes next? The squirrels makes more colors. See? Purple berry. Wow. <laughs> Royal. Wow. Splendid. I think they are all trying to make different colors. Isn't it? Mixing them differently. Some in pink shade. Some in blue shade. Some in brown shade. Some in white shade. The last page of the coloring book is a picture of the squirrels. Wow, we have painted everything now. Let's paint ourselves now. Can you see? They all have painted themselves. It looks really funny. Isn't it? Wow. The squirrels have used so many wonderful colors today. They really have earned their color badges. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Now there is just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. It's a doggy hug. Mm, so sweet. Isn't it? Have to have a hug at the last minute. Wow. Bye bye doggies. Go home and take rest. You all had a busy day in the nursery today. We'll see you all again in our next book. We are going to see the book. Hey doggy, where is the unicorn? Looks like a baby unicorn has missed its dad. Let's help find him, his dad. Oh, Daggy and the squirrels are outside exploring when they spot a baby unicorn. She is playing hide and seek, but she can't find her daddy anywhere. What does your daddy look like? Asked Ed. He's fluffy and white with a bit of rainbow. Hmm, says baby unicorn. I saw him, says dad. He trotted behind that bush. We found your daddy, baby unicorn. Cheer the squirrels. Let's check. Did they find him? Oh no. That's not my daddy, says baby unicorn. Let's check. Hmm. What does your daddy sound like? Ask Happy. He loves splashing. I saw him, said Happy. He swam behind that rock. Wow, we found your daddy, baby unicorn. Check the squirrels. Let's check. <gasps> no, that's not my daddy. Hmm. Where does your daddy like playing? Hmm. I high up in the sky, says baby unicorn. I saw him, shouts Oli. He flew behind that cloud. <gasps> oh, they all are flying now to find daddy unicorn let's check oh no says baby unicorn that's not my daddy what does your daddy like doing ask nori sliding nori and betty think very hard aha says betty we know where he is we cheer the squirrels we found your daddy baby unicorn splish splash splash let's check one, two, three, yay! I did, says baby unicorn. With some help from my friends, I found my daddy unicorn. Well done, squirrels. You helped the baby unicorn find her daddy and you made lots of new friends along the way. Haven't the squirrels done well today, Daggy? They have definitely earned their... Dougie Batch.
Hete, Pure. Wow, look today, they have only unicorn badges on Dagi Hug. Hope you all enjoyed reading this book. See you in the next one. Bye. Today we are going to read Hey Dagi Dagi Structure. It's autumn and Dagi is ready for the harvest. What is a harvest? Asked Rowley. The squirrels remind Rowley of all the gardening they did earlier this year. We put little seeds into the ground and covered them in earth and gave them a little bit of water. Then the sun and rain helped those little seeds to grow into fruit and vegetables. Now everything is ready to be picked. It looks like Dougie could use some help with this year's harvest. Can we help Dougie? Ask the squirrels. Oh, Dougie notes. The squirrels get to work. Rowley and Tan dig into the soil and pull up potatoes. This one looks like a duck. Quack, quack, quack. This one looks like Dougie. The squirrels help Dougie harvest lots of crops. Crops are the fruit and veggies we grow to eat. Finished. Quiet squirrels, there are lots more crops to be picked across, lots more fields. There is more, the squirrels groan. How will we collect all that? Asked Betty. Dougie knows, he has his harvest patch. Dougie goes into the ball and drives out on his tractor. This will do the job. Oh. The squirrels hop on. As Dougie drives, the tractor pulls up the crops and collects them on a trailer. Oh. Dougie tries to speed up, but the tractor is very slow. The tractor soon starts to overheat before chugging to a complete stop. Oh no, it looks like it's broken down. Can you fix it, Dougie? Suddenly all the animals appear. They want to help out while Dougie fixes the tractor. The animals help the squirrels harvest the crops in their own special ways. Slurp. Third, and Betty counts everything up as it is picked. They harvest all kinds of fruit and vegetables. There are so many, it's hard to keep count. Tomatoes, blueberries, apples, strawberries. Everyone works together to create their own tractor. They dig up and collect every last crop. Soon the harvest is complete. Hooray! Dougie has managed to fix his tractor too. 
Haven't the squirrels done well today, doggy? Oh, well done, squirrels. You have earned your harvest badges. Now, there is just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Doggy hug. Bye bye. Hope you all enjoyed reading this book. Please subscribe to watch more videos. Bye. Hello, everybody. Today we are going to read Hey Dougie's Little Learning Library. Shall we read? First, let's read Colors. Colors. Red Bus. Beep, beep. Orange pumpkin, yellow banana, green dinosaur, blue water, splash, and it's got a colour plate on the back with red, yellow, white, green, blue and black. Shall we read shapes? Shapes. Square. Rolly's pe present. Circle. A football. Semicircle. An umbrella. Star. Good night, everyone. Shall we read the next one? One, two, three. One, two, three. One clubhouse. Two flamingos. Three teddies. Four crowns. Oh, I missed a page. Five squirrels. Six cupcakes. Seven carrots. Eight planets nine flowers and ten badges and look there's a one a two and yes a three last but obviously not least a b c a b c a is for alien b is for betty c is for chicken D is for Dougie, E is for Elephant, F is for Fog, G is for Games, H is for Happy, I is for Ice Cream, J is for Jam, K is for Kite, and L is for Ladybug, M is for Monkey, N is for Nori, O is for Octopus, P is for pizza, Q is for queen bee, R is for roly, S is for stick, T is for tag, U is for unicorn, V is for vegetables, W is for windmill, X is for xylophone, Y is for yoga, and Z is for zebra. I hope you all love today's book of Little Learning Library from Hey Doggy. If you enjoyed this book, please and please subscribe as we have so many more wonderful books we can explore all together. So, see you next time. Hi children, today we are going to read a Hey Doggy book, The Train Batch. Please remember to press the like button if you like our video and also subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us. We have got lots of books on Peppa Pig, Blue Eek, Hey Dougie, Kokomanon, lots of puzzle books and many board books. Sure, you will love them all. Now let's read it. Dougie is showing the squirrels his train set. It's amazing. 
says Happy. Woof woof, replies Dougie. It has taken Dougie a long time to build his train set. Dougie knows all about trains. He has his train badge. Did you make this sheep? Dougie asks Nori. Rrrt. These trees are springy. Point. What do these bits do? Snap. Can't it go faster? Shouts Rolly, pressing the big red button. Click. The train whistles round the track until Dougie presses stop. Oh, Dougie teaches the squirrels about train signals, reversing and picking up passengers. But the squirrels just want to play. They hear a noise outside. Stomp, stomp. It's Henny. Henny loves trains. Stomp, stomp. Would you like to see my train set? Asks Henny. Dougie really wants to see Henny's train set. Here is my train. Henny's train is much bigger than Dougie's. Wow, gasped squirrels. Can we play with it? Asks Tag. You can't play with it, says Henny. You have to play in it. All aboard. Everyone jumps on the train. We are moving. Choo 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 choo. She's calling. Look at the hills. Look at the track. Clickety clack. Clickety clack. Look at the dog. Hear it quack. Quack quack quack. Look at the cows. Hear their bells jingle. Jingle, jingle. Look, it's a castle. Look, it's Fort Fingal. Up the mountain they travel so slow. Clickety clack over the top. Clickety clack and down we go. Whee! The train takes them into a colorful jungle through a dark tunnel. And back out into the sunshine. They are at the end of the track. Well then, squirrels, you have earned your train badges. Now there is just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. Hope you all enjoyed reading this. Squirrels love Dougie's toy train set. But Henny's train is so big that everyone can jump aboard. It's time for the best train journey ever. It was definitely the best train journey ever, isn't it? Bye bye children. See you on another interesting book. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us. Hope you all enjoyed this book. Hey Dougie. Good night Dougie. It's a very noisy day at the clubhouse. He thinks it's definitely time for a glass of milk. Shout the squirrels excitedly. Betty, Happy, Nori, Jack and Rolly slap down the milk. <gasps> they yawn. They look very sleepy now. Now it's time for the squirrels to rest perhaps. Dougie has an idea. He grabs his banjo and some books and all the cushions and teddies and makes some cozy beds for the squirrels to sleep in. <gasps> squirrels! It's nap time. <gasps> they come running over and snuggle in. Dougie plays a lullaby on the banjo and tell the squirrels to sleep well. Dougie! shouts Tag. We haven't got a badge today. Dougie thinks for a moment, then points to his sleeping bag. Oh! Yeah! Everyone cheers. They all want a sleeping badge. <gasps> Dougie reads the squirrels here book about sleeping. Then it is time to sleep. Dougie! Shout Snorri! We can't sleep! It's light outside! Dougie says that. Bad sleep when it is light and they sleep hanging upside down. 
the squirrels turn themselves upside down but they can't sleep upside down Ducky explains how animals sleep standing up the squirrels all stand up but they can't sleep standing up Ducky shows them a picture of two sleeping sea otters holding hands the squirrels try holding hands but they can't sleep holding hands Dougie explained how koalas cling to trees and sleep. But the squirrels don't have any trees, so they all cling on to Dougie. Ah, yawns Dougie. He starts to close his eyes and tells the squirrels to sleep well again. But the squirrels don't reply because they have fallen asleep in a great big Dougie hug. The squirrels whisper in their sleep, beep beep. The squirrels parents arrive and everyone wakes up. We got our sleeping badges. The squirrels say there is just time for one last thing. Good night Dougie, cry the squirrel. <gasps> wow.